That's a pretty good-sized flock of robin red breasts. No, let's call them robin brick orange breasts. Because I don't care how nice the phrase sounds, they don't have red breasts. We've probably confused generations of toddlers trying to learn their colors with that little fiction. Oh, sure, I know that robin brick orange breasts will never catch on. Instead of tripping lightly off the tongue, it bumbles around on the tip. But anyway, as I was saying, that's a pretty good-sized flock scarfing up crab apples on the winter-scorched grass. And right across the street sits a mockingbird on his usual perch. You can see why I'd say he perches there often, right? He's watching the activity and fretting. It's not that the robins are keeping him from his food. He could hop down there and join in. A couple of starlings that peeled away from their flock for a snack are tolerated. But he's too upset by watching marauders decimate his stash to have an appetite. He winters here. He needs those berries. And the robins are Sherman's army marching through his countryside. So, yes, he has reason to harumph about the situation. But the robins could point out that his impotent sputtering is poetic justice. If they spare a thought for his dismay at all, it'll be in the form of schadenfreude, because every one of them has probably been evicted from some burying bush or tree, and more than once, by these street brawlers. But that was in warmer weather when the odds were one to one. Different odds today. This flock of robins is migrating. They try to travel when the temp is above the freezing mark, so that the worms will still be available. But today the ground is frozen, light snow is falling, and a feast of crab apples calls 30 or 40 of them out of the sky. So his lordship shuttles from lamppost to holly, kvetching, grumbling at the robin riffraff, sometimes even leaving for a minute or so just so he won't have to watch them empty a whole shelf of his pantry. The whirligig bird can't stay away, though, and he's too much of a loner to join in. The robins, now, they know how to throw an impromptu party. For all we know, the mockers carping and belly aching a few feet away is sauce for the meal. Is there a robin equivalent of yeah, 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 yeah? Ooh, hawk scare. For a change, the mocker is almost grateful there might be a hawk around. But no, it was a false alarm and the hungry horde drifts back. There's no need to worry that the mockingbird will be left to starve when the crab apples are gone. Our feeders are a block away, and he knows it. It's just that he's been seriously imposed upon and gotten his pride dented in the process. 